All righty. Welcome to Between Us. Another week, another dollar. Another podcast. Another podcast. Uh, we're shooting on a different day today, so I feel like I'm a little... Off. A little off, but... And you've kind of been mean to me today, so... You've been mean to me. Really? Yes. No. Today's one of those days where you're just at me. Really? The second I showed up, you're like, I can't do this. Butcher pooped in his pants. This is a second bath today. And I was totally fine. Yeah. All that's true. He did. Okay, so it was you, not me. Two baths. I'm trying to get ready. Okay, so it was you that was frustrated, not me. Well, you're off at Swig. I went to the gym. Thank you. Off at Swig. Taking your sweet time. Okay. (laughs) This is going to be good today. (laughs) I can just tell. (laughs) We're just giving each other evil looks the whole time. There is one thing that's carrying me. The Powerball. That is one. Yes, uh-huh. let's talk about that. The okay. Powerball. <laughs> I love to think about what it would be like if we won. Right. I think, I don't know what the total amount is, but the take home, the cash value of the Powerball is $480 million. Life-changing. Oh, that's... Ten life changing. So that's five generations <laughs> changing. <laughs> and I literally yesterday I called my brother and we're just going. Man, this is what this I would is, do. Yeah, I'm gonna give our whole family. I'm gonna retire our family. I'm gonna retire the in laws. <laughs> Are you over it? I'm just. I'm not expecting to win, so I just don't get my hopes Wins. up. I know. I don't just put that out there. I've never won anything in my life, so I'm just not, I just don't have I've any expectations. I've won some good raffles. I won a MacBook. That's true. During a raffle. I don't even think I've won a raffle. I'm bad luck. But yeah, imagine $480 million in our bank account tonight. I would open up a dog boarding oh place my gosh. tomorrow. <laughs> I would give you half to not <laughs> do that. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay's been walking dogs <laughs> lately. Yes, it's my new hobby. And I told her if I win the Powerball tonight, I'm gonna buy Rover and fire her so she can't walk dogs anymore. But I love it. It's very therapeutic. You get <sighs> out in nature. I love dogs. But it's always at the like worst time. Every, because people any time is the worst time for you, no, Jaden. I said after five would be great. But that's not when people need their dog to be walked because they're home. Saying. So I would buy Rover, the company, and fire you. Day one. <sighs> what? You and Anytime I, I have any sort of job is because... Here we go. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I'm... Wa- I'm only Here walking a dog for one hour, three times a week. Jaden somehow needs me during that one hour, but anytime I've ever had a job, Jaden hates that I have a job because I'm not there 24-7 to just do whatever he wants me to do. I missed the first part. I was thinking about the Powerball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just move on. Move on to something else. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, that's not what I had in mind. I was actually thinking about Chess. For what? For the Powerball? No. That's what's been carrying me is chess. Oh. Man, it feels so good. So I've gotten really into chess lately. And uh, I signed up on chess.com. And I think you play like five or six matches. And then it gives you a ELO score, I think is what it's called. Um, And I started out at like five or six hundred. I can't remember. And then... Uh, I set the goal that I really wanted to hit a thousand on my ELO score, right? Which is like top, you know, 80 something percentile. Like it's really good. So I've been watching tons of YouTube videos and playing Lindsay and kind of, yeah, I don't like to play him anymore because he knows all the moves and I don't study it. So I just, yeah, I lose very quickly all of a sudden. Lately. Yeah. 
But I've been playing on chess.com against other people online. I played like over 400 matches. And last night, I finally hit my goal of a thousand. And I don't do a lot of like competitive things, or I haven't, you know, yeah. for a long time. Um, you know, I might play pickleball here and there, but nothing like super competitive. And I like realize I kind of miss that feeling of like, competing at something and like winning at it like that feeling feels so good so no comment <laughs> no i'm just sad that because we used to play all the time and now i just feel like i can't play anymore because I'll, I'll just lose in like two seconds well you just need to learn and and but i just that doesn't interest me to like study chess moves i'd rather just what? play and like use my brain while I'm playing chess to figure it out. Well, then I don't know what to tell you. I guess I'm never playing chess again. Okay, let's jump into know-it-all. So this week I put together a little Halloween quiz. Okay. Mixed in with Harry Potter quiz. Uh Uh-oh. And I went to ChatGPT and I said, give me three really hard Harry Potter questions. Oh, no. So, I I'm, hope you're I've up on I've only your... read all the books once, so I'm like, I'm not like an expert. Okay. So, some will be Halloween, some will be Harry Potter. Okay. First one, which vegetable was originally used to make jack-o'-lanterns before pumpkins? And I have multiple choice, but I think it'd be good for you to guess. If you can't get it, then we'll do multiple choice. Um, well, I'm thinking vegetables that you could carve, and I would assume... Don't look at my screen. No maybe, a, maybe a watermelon? That is incorrect. Is it turnips, cabbages, or carrots? Maybe a turnip? Nice. Okay, you got that one. I don't even know what that is. It's like a... Uh, like a gourd? No, it's uh, kind of like an onion, I would say, but... Really? Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. And they were carving that. That's interesting. Okay. Which country is believed to be the birthplace of Halloween? The United States of America. Eh, wrong. It's either Ireland, USA, or Mexico. Mexico. Eh, Ireland. Dang it. <laughs> You've never heard that? No, but I think it's because Harry is from England, which is in Europe, and he said they don't really celebrate Halloween there, so maybe I thought maybe Europe doesn't really care about Halloween. Okay, you are not doing good. (laughs) All right. In the Harry Potter series, what does the Bogart turn into for Pavardi Patil during the defense against the Dark Arts class? Oh, my gosh. (laughs) <laughs> Come on. Well, I'm pretty sure Pavardi's a twin, so it's like now I have to figure what out which the twin. What does Bogart turn into for Pavardi Patil during their defense against the Dark Arts class? Mm. A werewolf. Wrong. Do Is I it... get multiple choice? Yes. Okay. Is it a giant spider, a no. clown, or a mummy? It's got to be a mummy. Yep. Are you just guessing or did you Well, I know that a spider was Ron's and I don't remember ever. I don't feel like they were afraid of clowns in Harry Potter. But doesn't there like a Jack in the Box come out, a clown Uh, in Harry Potter and he's like leaning forward? But that's when he turns it into, so like a Bogart is your fear and then you have to like think of something to turn it into and to laugh at and that's what it turns into. I I see. Okay. All right. Uh, what is a group of witches called? A Do you know coven. This? Nice. <laughs> Didn't even need multiple choice. <laughs> How did you know that one? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Probably from some is show I watched. Is it a coven or a coven? Uh, either one. I don't know. Probably a coven, right? Coven. Okay. In the Order of the Phoenix, which character attempts to repair Harry's broken nose after Malfoy attacks him on the Hogwarts Express. Attempts to fix his nose. Mm-hmm. Which character? Ron. Wrong. Is it Tonks, Luna Lovegood, Hermione Granger, or Jeannie Weasley? 
Ginny. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> no, I'm saying the way you said it was weird. Ginny. <laughs> so I said, name? it's Ginny. You said Ginny. It's not Ginny. <laughs> it was Ginny. <laughs> But in the movie, <laughs> Luna Lovegood is the one that finds him. So I would assume Luna Lovegood. Wrong. Who is it? Tonks. Who's Tonks? <clears throat> she turns into like, she can change her hair color and she oh. can like turn into different things. Lindsay, you are not doing good. I read them like Ooh. years ago. It's been how many years now? It looks like you're doing dishes tonight. Okay. Oh, okay. According to superstition, if you stare into a mirror at midnight on Halloween, what will you see? All I can think is uh, some lady named Mary. <laughs> Remember when you'd go in the bathroom and you would say what? Bloody Mary three times? No. And what happened? Then she's supposed to appear. Who's she? I don't know. She's like a ghost. Oh, that is incorrect. Is it your future spouse, your death, or a ghost? <clears throat> well, since I already said ghost, I'm going to assume your death. Wrong. Your future spouse. Oh, that's the <laughs> randomest thing I've ever heard. Funny enough, that's how we met. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. What does the name Dracula mean in Romanian? Uh, multiple choice, please. Okay. Man of the night, bloodsucker, or son of the dragon? Man of the night. Incorrect. Son of the dragon. A dragon. I know. I thought that was interesting. Okay. Next question. <laughs> okay. In which American state is it illegal to dress like a priest or nun for Halloween? I'll give you multiple choice. Is it Alabama, Texas, or California? Alabama. Yes. Isn't that weird? That is weird. I wonder if it's enforced, though, because, you know, there's like... Yeah, how are they, weird. yeah. Yeah, how would they enforce that? I don't know, maybe give you like... Maybe they don't sell the costumes there, but you could order them <laughs> online, I don't know. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. Okay, last one, and it's a Harry Potter one. What is the incantation for the spell that conjures the dark mark? I don't know. Okay. Imperius, Crucio, Avada Kedavra, or Mos Mordre? It's got to be uh, Mos Mordre. Yeah. Because the other ones are all curses. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell me, what is the dark mark? It's uh, the... Is it on the forearm? Yeah. Oh. It's the snake that appears. That's cool. Okay, that's all of them. I would say, as far as the rating, maybe... I don't even know if you got passing. Probably D. Those were hard questions. Yeah, they were. I feel like with multiple choice, you would have gotten in some of them, though. Especially uh -huh. the Harry Potter ones. Well, I got two of the Harry Potter ones. Did you? Yeah. Oh, that's true. You got the mummy. And, and I got the, the yeah. Okay, should we jump into submission? Sure. Okay. Why don't you do the first one? Okay. What have been your favorite places to travel to? Mm, we kind of covered this one, New Zealand. Yeah, we went to New Zealand. Definitely is a highlight, I would say. Um, we go to Disneyland a lot, so that's definitely a, our favorite. Yeah, Disneyland's awesome. Um, New York was great. Yeah, that was fun. We should, we should go back. I know. I loved going to New York. And I love like... The food in New York. Oh, that was good. We watched so much. We ate so much food. Yeah, we were going to a Broadway show, and I remember we were, like, starving. And uh, we didn't know where to eat, and we were just walking towards... Is Broadway a street? Yes. Yeah, we were walking towards the street, and we're like, man, we're hungry. Can we grab something quick? And I just saw this, like stairs going down into a basement and i saw like a restaurant looking sign so i was like let's try this so we went in and they were like oh what what's your reservation under and we're like oh we don't have a reservation they're like uh we don't usually do walk-ins but let me see if i can find a table and they sat us and i think that was the best place we ate it at. was good it was italian food 
But our taxi driver did say that if the food's, if you open a restaurant and it's not good, it'll close like super fast. So the food has to be good in New York. Because of how much it costs to run a business there. So yeah, New York was great. And then we like doing cruises. Oh yeah, that's true. Like that's the way to vacate. Yeah, no planning to show up. Although we did go to Mexico with our friends. Oh, that was awesome. And we stayed at a nice resort and it was so much fun. So I would say food, New York is my favorite. I would say, uh, like, if you want no worries, go do a cruise. Like, an all-around good vacation is cruise, because they have good food, good activities, good places to go. And we went to Mexico kind of during COVID. It wasn't at, like, the height of COVID, but... um, So, it was cheap. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. I think with flights, hotel, it was, like, 2000 bucks maybe. Yeah. And all inclusive resorts, so food was taken care of. Like that trip was awesome, and we had a swim up pool, so we could literally go out our back door and there was a pool, right there, right outside our our uh, door at the resort. So cool. Okay, how did you meet? We're not going there. <laughs> Has this showed up before? I don't know. Probably. I feel like we've told the story so many times, though. But we'll tell the story, but I want my twin sister to be here. I would rather die. Well, it's happening. (laughs) How would that even work? What do you mean? Just get another microphone? She could sit right between us? Because it's called between us? (laughs) I don't know about that. (laughs) Yeah, that's a whole podcast. That's a long story, but it's a good one. Kind of dramatic. Torture me. (laughs) That would not be fun for me. I think it would be hilarious. Maybe. I mean, if you want to see that, put it in the comments, and maybe if there's enough hype, (laughs) we'll get around to it. (laughs) All right, let's jump in the next one. How did closing Rightly Royce affect your lives and your relationship? It's a good question. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> and for um, those of you that don't know, we ran a jewelry business in honor of our son for almost five years. Yes, so. and it was a hard decision to close it down, but I feel like, at least for me, I we had Fletcher, and I so I just felt like my, like, right, the had served its purpose for me, and I was ready to move on. And so I had kind of brought that up to Jaden, but, I mean, it it was literally Jaden's baby. Like he mm. loved rightly Royce. He, that was how he learned all of his marketing. Um, and so, I mean, I kind of stepped away and he kind of took a lot of the work on himself. Um, and th- until he kind of came to the same realization that it was time. Um, and it definitely like changed our life, but we're glad that, that we did it. I feel like mm-hmm. because, um, it definitely opened up time for Jaden to pursue the things that he really wants to do. Um, Like he wants to be a content creator. Um, I don't think it really affected our relationship per se. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I think as far as affecting our lives, I would say I'm less stressed. Yeah. (laughs) In certain areas. Right. Right. Um, But yeah, it was hard because that was like, like Lindsay said, that was my everything. Right, like everything that I've learned and like I tie myself to kind of went back to Riley Roy. So uh but yeah, it was definitely time. Like I don't think we made the wrong move. Yeah. Deciding to close it. Like I definitely feel good about that decision still. But as far as our relationship, I don't know. I feel like this is a healthier like work relationship if that makes sense yeah because yeah like the business demanded a lot of us and so when Lindsay stepped away it was really hard to manage all of it Mm -hmm. right and like uh obviously that causes stress and arguments and whatnot so I like this much better I'd rather just create things like this with you than have to worry about building a business with you I would say it's it's my thoughts so um but yeah I'm excited for this new yeah, me too. New chapter. Okay. Um, do you want to read the next one? 
What's a parenting moment that still makes you laugh when you think about it? Hmm. Do you have any? I don't know. I'd have to think about it. <laughs> a parenting moment that still makes me laugh. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I can't, like my my brain is like a blank right now. Same. I can't even like What's think about anything. Us? It's because we're shooting on a different day. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm like, what is our life? Okay, <laughs> read the next one then. Okay, maybe we'll come back to it. Yep. Um, if you could describe the other person with just three words, what would they be and why? Oh no, they're trying to make me cry again. I know. I thought I felt like we just did this one. It was three attributes that we love about each other. Um. Okay. Would if you could each describe the other person with three words. Jaden, number one would be funny. Okay. Number two, I would say, um, like happy go lucky. <laughs> okay. With hyphens, <laughs> one word. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like you used up all three, but <laughs> keep going. Um, and three, I would say passionate, like whatever, mm -hmm. like. If he's not passionate about something, he has zero interest. But when he does, like, if he's passionate about something, he puts his all into it. Yeah. Which has been good and bad. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like. Because if I'm hyper-focused on something, it's hard for me to focus on anything else. You know, like, I just go all in on it. And that's been good because I can accomplish, like, really big goals and tasks. But things take the back burner. Mm-hmm you know, at the behest. Yes, that's true. Oh, man, I've been thinking about that lately. I need to change that attribute. Like, it's well, good to have passion and, like, go for things, but I need to find a balance. Yeah, I feel like life is about finding balance. I know, because, like, when I focus on my health, that's all I can think mm -hmm. about, and I do really well, and I lose a good amount of weight, and then, but then once I switch focus, it's like, done no more help yeah. you you wait <laughs> and i don't get it like right now i can't even think about like trying to lose more weight that's okay no it's not okay okay well i need to i need to find a way to like do it all <laughs> and still have a passion for all of it yeah because that's the issue is like then i'm not passionate about losing weight because uh, right now I'm just focusing right. on this. Yeah. I don't know. Or if I get into reading or like everything else. Uh, it's a lot. It's frustrating. But yeah, I think that's kind of my goal is just balance. Yeah. I want to find balance in my life. and um, But I need to give you three. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. Okay. I would say determined. Yes. When Lindsay sets her mind, it's set. And no one's changing it. No one's changing it. <laughs> like she did uh, the Spartan race this year. I can't believe you completed. Uh, barely. I was... How, many, how long did it take? Took uh, six hours. <laughs> it's crazy. It was 13 miles, 30 obstacles, straight uphill for a lot of it. I yeah, I was thinking it'd be like two hours. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was so... It was so we the, showed up yeah. and we're like standing there and just waiting and waiting. We're like, where <laughs> are these guys? I thought that you would be able to see most of the obstacles. No, so I was surprised you that you can only see the ones at the end. But I guess, I mean, they probably can't have people just hiking all the way up there. It's literally such a hard hike. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Yes, I probably wouldn't have finished if Derek wasn't, wasn't uh, keeping me going. No, I knew you would finish no matter what. That's true. I don't, I don't like to give up on things. And so I was, <laughs> I was, my legs were hurting, but I finished. But Lindsay's the same way with like, if she starts a book, she'll read that book day in, day night until, until it's, it's done. done. Yeah. Or you started the Harry Potter game. <laughs> yes. I and stayed I, up late many we nights. We talked about that on the last podcast, how that game cured your my insomnia. insomnia but yeah um 
determined definitely yeah. is one. I would say uh <laughs> I don't know if I should get funny or not or stay serious. <laughs> it's up to you. They're your words. <laughs> They're my words. Yeah. I'm gonna have to own them. <laughs> yep. I would say uh you are a very kind person. Thank you. That's a good word. To others. <laughs> Jaden has I'm like ready to like smack to you. <laughs> Jaden. <laughs> Jaden. <laughs> yeah, I think you are like a very kind person and like your heart is very big. Thank you. Yes. And a third one. Uh let me think here. I would say you're a loyal person. Is that a good one? That's a good one. I'll know. take loyal. <laughs> like, I just feel like you really back me yes. and like support me. And I appreciate that. So, alrighty, let's move on before we have another <laughs> incident like last episode. All right. What's your best poop story? <laughs> I don't have any, but this one's got to be for you. Oh, my best poop story. I don't know. I do have some, but I don't want to get in trouble with like. Why don't you tell the one? I don't know. They're your stories. Oh, no. The what? one where you were trying to get home from high school or from school. and hadn't really had to go to the bathroom. How about not? <laughs> Let's hear you tell it. So from what I heard <laughs> oh, from Jaden, this is his story, but I'll tell it. Okay. So Jaden, you know, we've mentioned he's lactose intolerant and he used to just eat dairy yeah. or drink milk just because mm. he loved it. That was a good old days. But it would just make him sick. And so many of times we've been driving and he's really had to go to the bathroom. And so we really have to hurry home and he's like about to poop his pants, but he never has. But this story, he was on his way home from school. Are, are you, are you going to let me tell it or are you going to tell it? Well, there's even more before this. Well, all I know is you were driving home from school and there was traffic. Yes. And so you really had to go. So you went in like the middle lane that you're not supposed to go in and pass all these people. Okay. All right, you tell it. I knew if Am I started. I really gonna put this. I out knew. There? I knew if I started telling it, he would tell it. That's usually how it goes. Because <laughs> he doesn't like the way I tell it. No, it's not that. I'm You're missing details. Missing. I think it was like. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go there. So, I think it was like the end of the year, and this certain person was holding an end of the year party. And at their house. <laughs> okay. And we're there. Everyone's hanging out. End of year party. And I'm like, golly, my stomach hurts. And I'm like, frick, I need to go potty. So they had a bigger house. So I was strolling, strolling through their house trying to find a toilet. And I found one and I used it, but then it wouldn't flush. Oh my gosh. What's that would you rather you always say? I don't know. Would you rather poop in someone's house and clog the toilet or poop outside or something? You know that would you rather you always say? I don't say? remember that. Okay, well. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what which one that is. You used to tell it all the time. I don't know. I can't remember. Me either now. Okay, go ahead. So I poo poo in the toilet and flushy flush and then no flushy. <laughs> okay. So then I'm panicking like what the freak am I going to do now? So I decide I'm just going to leave it. Okay. Because I was so embarrassed. And I walk out and I'm like walking out and she's like, are you looking for a bathroom? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's the, it, where is one? Because I didn't want her to know. I'm not going to say I just went in there. She's like, 
okay, you can go in there, but don't use that bathroom because that one doesn't flush. <laughs> but I already went in there. So does she know that it was you? Probably. <laughs> now she does. <laughs> So then I go with my friends. I'm like, I need to go home. <laughs> like, I need to go to the bathroom. And that's when this story begins. Oh, your thought, story. Oh, okay. And I was driving home and it hits me again. Oh, you know, stomach's grumbling. And so there was traffic and I just had two choices and decided to drive in the median. <laughs> I don't know what. I, why am I doing this? <laughs> Why do you do this to me? I didn't do it. Someone asked No, you, you pushed me. <laughs> you told me to tell it. Okay. Anyways. Um, do you have one for the parenting moment that makes us laugh? Still makes us laugh. Parenting moment. That makes us laugh. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to think. There's one that comes to mind. Okay. And I I think it's because I recently saw a meme about it the other day. Like it was like a picture of a of a kid in his car seat and he was like on his side in the back of the oh, yeah. back of the car. Oh my god. And just gosh. staring. So I we used to live in an apartment and I was like so for summer sales I was like the office manager and I had to go just drop something off to somebody or I can't remember but I had to just go to the apartment complex right next door but in California where we lived like they didn't have a lot of like turning lanes like you had to go down to the light and make a u-turn mm -hmm. so anyways I didn't have um Royce's car seat like um base in the car for some reason I think it was in our other car and so I was Probably. just using the seat belt to buckle him in um but when I put him back in his car seat since I was so used to the base, I forgot to like put the seatbelt back over him. But luckily I was just going back to the, our other apartment, which was just down the street, like next door. <laughs> so anyways, I go to make this U-turn to go back to our apartment. And all of a sudden I hear this like, <laughs> and I look back and poor Royce is just oh, like, no. turned on his side because I forgot to buckle him in. <laughs> so I hurry and pull over and he was <laughs> look at him and he was just like looking at me like what the heck he didn't cry or anything so i just hurry i said i'm so sorry i put him back up i buckled him in and and uh i still think about that <laughs> never happened again yeah i remember you called me you're like you won't believe what just happened <laughs> you felt so bad yes i did that's a good one i don't know if i remember or anything that makes me really laugh i don't know yeah I feel like we've nothing crazy yeah nothing so... crazy Okay, um, a little bit shorter of the submission section, but that's okay. Um, let's jump into our debate. Okay. Lindsay doesn't even know what it is this week. No, I don't. So, I feel like the debate that I want to talk about is whether the toilet paper should go over or under or if it doesn't matter it doesn't matter to me so i Lindsay, just okay okay Jaden. well every time i go in there i gotta take it off zoop, no put it back on no i've been better about putting it over the top because you I, have do you yes, recognize it? i do because i know i don't care either way but i know that you do so i've been putting it the right <laughs> the right way according to you but you know how many times, almost every time we run out of toilet paper and you're in there, you don't change it. So if you want the toilet paper the right way, maybe you should change it yourself. <laughs> you always add layers to these debates. Is that not true? <laughs> Stick to the debate. That is part of the debate. Does the toilet paper go over or does it go under? I, We're not it talking do, about I don't care. The toilet paper comes off the thing. Okay, we'll see what. I hey, if you're it. watching this, I want to know, are you passionate just say over or but, under in the comments. But I, I'll say if you have that strong an opinion about it, maybe you should change it yourself. That's all I'm going to say. That's not the debate. Okay. Uh, one, another thing, uh, just to kind of wrap it up. Uh, if you haven't already, 
go. We get a good amount of submissions, but if you submit some, it's a good chance that it's going to end up on the show. So go and ask us something. Go tell us a story or give us a scenario or your own debate uh, and give us things to talk about. So uh, you can click the link on the buy or the link on this video if you're wanting to, to submit one. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, if we win the Powerball tonight, <laughs> we're going to pick one new subscriber and give you a million dollars. So everyone pray that we win the Powerball so tonight. So be sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on that. Because once this comes out and you haven't subscribed, woo, okay. Uh, and then, yeah, like this video if, if, you're, if you had a good time. <laughs> If you're into it, it's what I almost said. I don't know why I almost said that. If you're really into this, like the video. Uh, and then also check out our other series. We're doing three podcasts a week. That's crazy. That's crazy. So we have this one, obviously, that now comes out every Monday. We also have our new series called The What Is Podcast, where I ask 13 questions. I'll be getting... Uh, with what is with a different guest each week. Uh, and those come out on Wednesdays. And then we have Jaden's Basement, which is such a fun podcast. If you're into gossip and, you know, news and just, you know, it's a very lighthearted, fun podcast that you can literally just turn on. They're usually longer. They're running about like two hours, a little over two hours each time. And so you can just turn on, let it play, and it's fun to listen to. Mm -hmm. So. Um, but other than that, we will catch you guys next week. Thank you so much.